The Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Department working a double homicide. A man and a woman found dead inside of a burning home early this morning. In nearby Brunswick County, there was a suicide of a man that deputies there say is connected to the Mecklenburg case. Sources tell us that connection was made after this cryptic social media post from Dexter Clayton, a man they say died inside a car in Brunswick County from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Sources add a text he sent to his mother alerted authorities in neighboring Mecklenburg County about a deadly fire on Kinsey Tally Road, and deputies confirm Clayton was involved. It did a number on my heart when I saw it this morning going out, and um, I was really devastated because I knew something tragic had happened because of all the police that was there. Half a day later, the house continues to smolder. Nothing left but a cinder block foundation and charred debris. A fire so hot that it singed and melted outdoor patio furniture about 25 feet from the home's back door. Ecclesiastics 3, 1 through 5. This minister lives down the road from this site and says she is finding comfort in the word with a deadly tragedy almost at her doorstep. God has a purpose for everything, for you, for myself, for each and every one of us. We didn't come to this world to stay. We, can, we are just sojourners and we're passing through this land. And how we leave is not up to us, it's up to God. Sources tell me the murder victims are boyfriend and girlfriend, and Dexter Cleeton is the woman's ex. Sources add that Cleeton once lived at this home too, and knew the area, and believed the two had been estranged for about a month. I say the same thing I say about this family, the young man and the lady, young girl here. He was a human being just like anybody else. He had, de he had to have had some type of demons that was tearing his soul apart. And whatever demons he had, I just pray that God found a way other than him shooting himself to relieve him before he did that, where he could ask God to forgive me for what I've done, forgive me for what I'm about to do, and that his soul is at rest. The minister saying it's a tragedy on so many levels for so many different families in their small town. She says she will continue to pray for peace in the community. In Mecklenburg County, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.